The Holocaust in Lithuania resulted in the almost total extermination of the Lithuanian and Polish Jews, who often represented more than half the population of the country's small towns and villages before World War II. Around 80% of them were killed during the first six months of the war. After Nazi Germany invaded Poland on the 1st of September 1939, Vilnius became an Eastern European place of refuge. By mid-1940, the Soviet Union had occupied Lithuania. On the 22nd of June 1941, Germany attacked the Soviet Union. Within a week, Lithuania lay under Nazi occupation. A series of pogroms against the Jews was launched by the Nazis and carried out by their local helpers. The toll of victims reached several thousand. Mass killings of Jews were organized by the Nazis' SD security service and security police, and they were conducted by special extermination squads, local police, and local collaborators. They began in late June 1941, straight after the German occupation, and continued until July 1944. In 1942, the Jews who had survived in Vilnius, Kaunas, Shiolei, and a handful of small towns were herded into ghettos, where they were confined under terrible conditions. They strove not to give up. In the ghettos, the youth in particular joined underground anti-Nazi organizations that sought to use armed force to resist their oppressors. In January 1942, a proclamation rang out in the Vilnius ghetto. We will not be led like lambs to the slaughter. Around 2,000 members of the underground resistance in the ghettos managed to make their break for freedom and join the Soviet partisans in the woods. They fought the Nazis side by side, but had to endure the constant anti-Semitic attitude of their non-Jewish fellow combatants. In 1944, during the German withdrawal from Lithuania, a number of the Jews who were still confined to the Kaunas and Shiolei ghettos were massacred. Those who weren't slaughtered were deported to the Nazis' Stutthof, Dachau and Auschwitz concentration camps. By the beginning of July 1944, a total of 196,000 Jews had been killed in Lithuania. No more than 9,000 came out of the Holocaust alive. For many of those who survived the Holocaust, it was very hard indeed to try and start a new life in a country that had become a collection of mass graves where their loved ones lay. At the same time, the communist authorities were persecuting Jewish communities with increasingly anti-Semitic policies, imposing restrictions on their religious and cultural life, and working to destroy their heritage. Once the State of Israel was established, the USSR promised that all Jews who wanted to leave would be allowed to do so. After Israel began to turn to the West, though, the Iron Curtain made it more or less impossible for the Jews still living in Lithuania to emigrate to Israel, a journey which is known as making Aliyah. Those who succeeded enjoyed the benefits of the excellent support system developed for them by the Israeli authorities. Pasuneringą Latvytę Vilniaus universiteto komunikacijos fakulteto lektoriai ir trieja. Mūsų projekto pavadinimas yra Gydant sielos žaizdas. Ir projektą sudaro istorinis tyrimas bei šių dienų dilemų aktualizavimas. Aš jau 20 metų turiu holokaustą ir su juo susijusias 
tema, todėl projekto metu sukurta paroda, tai ir yra mano ilgo tyrimo atradimų dalis. Projekto metu buvo kalbinamas holokaustą išgyvenusios moteris, kurios suprasdamas projekto svarbą sutiko pasidalinti savo traumėmis, patirtimis ir nutilėtomis istorijomis. Taip pat projekto metu mes kalbiname ir holokaustų išgyvenusių moterų dukras bei anūkės ir supratome, kad trauminės patirtis, net jeigu jos yra ir nutilėtos, jos yra perdodamas iš kartos į kartą ir tarsi paveldimos. Šimtamečių moterų išgyvenusių holokaustą sunkiomis sąlygomis atvirumas skatina kalbėti, skatina neslėpti ir atsiverti, o tam reikalingas ne tik noras išklausyti ir priimti skaudžias patirtis, bet tam reikalinga ir empatija bei supratingumas ir šios savybės yra be galo svarbios ir šiandien, kadangi ir šių dienų moteris sprendžia labai sunkias dilemas ir labai dažnai užsiveria, lieka vieno su savo jausmais, lieko visiškai nesuprastos, o mūsų projekto tikslas būtent ir yra skatinti kalbėti, skatinti atsiverti ir skatinti būti empatiškiems, ypač dabar susidurėjant su šių dienų procesais pasaulyje.